Uh, Grizzlebees Heritage Minor League opened a case yesterday. I have one case left, and uh, Grizzlebees got it. Hey, take it easy. They didn't take it easy. Paper in there. What it all boils down to is that everything's going to be fine, fine, fine. How many hands do you have in your pocket? One. I don't think you ever get anything on those. <clears throat> Andrew, we're down to nine in jerseys. And um, we're down to nine in jerseys, and we got ten left in balls. So two-thirds of the way on both of them. Basically full. We can break it right after this case if anybody else wants in. Uh, Marco G, I got a case of Dynasty and a case of Sterling. I got both of those in, amongst other things. There was like five or six reloads. A case of Finest. A uh, case of National Treasures Racing, case of Dynasty Baseball, case of Sterling Baseball. <clears throat> I got some 20 update Bowman Chrome, I'm at Top Chrome Sapphire, but those were loose. A uh, case of Star Wars Chrome, we just put up a Star Wars Chrome numbers break that uh, Joey wanted to try. Put that up a little bit ago. What else came in? I'm forgetting. Oh, the new a new football mini helmet came in today. Um, TriStar Platinum Edition mini helmet football that came in. There's several reloads. It's all on the website. It says the chat disconnected. Can anyone chat right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see Ta Tibor said NASCAR. Never mind. All right, like yesterday, we'll just breeze through this stuff and look for the autographs and the numbered cards. If you get a numbered card, it will be backwards. Errol... Vera. Vera Wang. What it all boils down to is that everything's gonna be fine, fine. Here's a numbered card right here. Escato. Number to 75, green. Jason Dominguez, he's a future Hall of Famer. Oh, he is? Reginald Preciado. Autograph Deuce, Dos. Those that don't speak Spanish, that means two. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, uh, once, doce, trece, catorce. Averson, Ortega. And base. I just wish they could put more packs and more base in Heritage. That's what I like about it. I just wish they would put more. Can someone call Michael Rubin and ask him if they can do that in the future? We need minimum 36 packs. Let's all be fair here. We need 36 packs, 60 cards per pack. What's up, Del Toro? <laughs> that was just the... I, I, 
I took Spanish one and two in high school. That's all I ever took, Del Toro. I know the numbers. <laughs> Hola. I know that. Buenas noches. Yep, you got it, Andrew. How's it going, man? Two beers, please. I know that one. Oh uh, yeah, Marco, so I can do that. I'll just put a hold tag on it and then I'll ship it out, what, Monday? Or just wait till you come back and tell me to ship it. My balls are itching. The eye ones. I think it's the card dust. When I'm popping packs, it flies into my eyes. Ryan Holgate, blue, blues are numbered to 99. Who's the best autograph to get in the Heritage Miners from 22? Ellie doesn't have minor league autographs in this, does he? Ellie De La Cruz? I know he has cards in here, but he doesn't have autographs, right? Harry Ford? Valera? I guess this box is dead except for your one numbered card. <laughs> we already hit both autographs. Technically, you could find a third. Here's the numbered card coming up. And it is Pedro Leon. What did you order, Marcos? What box did you order? He's got Henry Davis eyes. Shot down in a blaze of Jordan. Five star? Cool, cool. Tell you what, Marcos, I'll break yours at the intermission of this break. I'm going to break half of this case, and then I'm going to move cards over. Since yours is one pack, I'll just go ahead and break it. Um, so just sit loose. I meant sit tight. But yeah, I'll break it at the halfway point because there's only one pack. And only two cards. Oh, do the whole thing? Okay. I don't know if you were in a hurry. I don't want you to have to wait for another 45 minutes to an hour. Just for one pack of cards.
see a blue in there. Oh, we got a black. Alan Serta. Are you certain? That one's numbered to 50, Grizzle Bees. 12 of 50, Alan Serta. And I'm certain of that. Hey, you got a black and a blue. You got a bruise. Jack Sawinski. 99 blue. And box is done. What about this idea for heritage? You can put all these cards in there, but you put only, uh, you only have, you only have, um, one or two packs that have the one pack that has the autograph and the numbered card in it or a short print if that's the way you like it all of them don't but if it is it's in that one pack and the other 23 packs are base for the people that love base cards so much number to 75 wouldn't that be a cool strategy so one pack it'll just be a silver colored pack it has the autographs and the um if there is a numbered card or a short print, it's all in that one pack. And then 23 10 card base packs. Nothing but base. That'd be a good strategy. I think. Yep, Joey, like that. Vendor, vendor box with one silver pack. Or since Heritage Miner has two autographs, you could put two packs. Each pack will have an autograph, and maybe one of them might have a numbered card to go with it, and or a short print if you get lucky. Those are randomly inserted. And then the other 20 packs are vendor style brick. is just all random base cards. You'd save on foil. Especially if you just put a whole row and then on top a couple silver packs. It's a solid strategy. <laughs> Chat sick of heritage miners. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Like I say, it's just probably too much fluff. Bowman's cool because you can get uh, major, major autographs out of it, but Bowman does the same thing. Bowman Top Series 1, 2, and Update, they do the same thing. They put too much fluff. I'm surprised they haven't fixed the glitch. You know how much money they would save on paper, printing, ink, color, um, shipping cost? By fixing the glitch? <laughs> Reducing the amount of base they put per box? They'd save tons of money. Oh, Maximo Acosta. Maximo. Ryan Holgate. This one's numbered to fifty. Kevin Alcantara. Esteban Machado. Is he related to Manny? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what are these cards for, by the way? What am I missing? What, why are miscut off center facsimiles? What are they for? Why are they on top on that? Why are they like that? Anyone know? Why did they randomly lay three miscut facsimile cards that look nothing like the set on top? Why? I need to know. They replaced the good trout autographs? What'd you guys think of the uh, Antoine Griezmann top Sterling break with the Jackie Robinson cut and the Mike Trout in the same box? Did you guys think that was nice? Did you think it was a good box? Max Ferguson. Why is that upside down? Marco Luciano. Come va? Not your Miley Grazie, E2. Ah, Cosi Cosi. And Errol Vera again. Your Aero Vera collection is growing. <laughs> no more rigged than Dime getting the Yankees twice. <laughs> what are the chances of that? You got a 1 in 30 shot in two different breaks and you get it twice. Did you see the Fanatics? Dude standing on his head saying backyard doesn't get all the product hits. I didn't see that. Benny Montgomery. I watched the break. Like I say, even if it wasn't coincident, it's terrible. It doesn't look good at all in phonetics or tops. It looks terrible. It doesn't matter if it was random because it looks like it's not. <laughs> it looks like the box was brought in with no shrink wrap and just handed over which would mean, if that was the case, not to say it is, I'm just saying, but if it was the case, that means it's a rigged game. No one ever had a shot at those. Not, a, not one paying customer had a shot, if it was ever to be that way. If you hold back the big cards and do what you want with them or send them where you want them. It's a rigged game. I'm surprised it's, uh, sports card opening is kind of, in a sense, gambling. I'm surprised there's not an oversight committee on the companies that make the cards. Kind of like they have gaming commissions for casino uh, slot machines and stuff. They don't just let Bellagio run their own gambling and nobody else gets involved. They have commissions. So I'm surprised it's not. There's not one overseeing sports cards.
zebras. <laughs> Putting up another Series 2 Team Break. Grizzlebees, this is the halfway point. At this point, I will turn the video <clears throat> off. Uh, Aaron Zavala. And uh, move all these cards. You're going to have, no joke, 25, 30-pound package coming your way. I got all your cards from yesterday in a box, and I think it weighed 12. So this is going to be at least another 12. So that's 25. Plus your top loaded cards, probably 25 to 30 pound box. Don't lift it without a back brace when you get it from the truck. That was Ezekiel Tavar. Oh, cut right to a black 50, Oswald Cabrera. Black 50. Any of you guys ever hit a Papa Dasha before? That sapphire one of one colored thing? You guys ever hit a pa Papa Dasha? Is it called pa Papa Dasha? I forget how you say it, but anyway. Anyone ever hit one of those cards? Just a bit outside. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be right back. Grizzlebees, I'm moving carts. 